Hello friends, welcome back and today I'll be showing you how to root OnePlus 3T running Oxygen OS 4.0.2 which is uh, based on Android version 7.0 So guys, make sure to root your device First you need to unlock bootloader of your device and once bootloader is unlocked uh, then you can flash TWRP recovery and the super user So guys, follow the steps which I'll be mentioning now and download the files uh, which I have also mentioned in the description below TWRP recovery and one is a super user and also make sure that you take a backup of your device uh, before uh, unlocking bootloader because it will be deleting all the internal memory of your device so to uh, unlock bootloader guys just go to settings about phone and in that uh, just click seven times on build number it says no need you are already a developer so i have already enabled just go to developer option now from here enable oem unlocking once you enable oem unlocking this will help you out in flashing twrp recovery after that you can also enable advanced reboot to directly go into the recovery and in the debugging mode you just uh, enable usb debugging and once it is done so now we'll uh, unlock the bootloader of the device to unlock the bootloader of the device just uh, go to reboot and click bootloader option the de device will boot uh, into fast boot mode and also make sure that uh, to root your device you should have a pc or desktop and you should install adb drivers uh, on your pc after that is done you can just uh, click on bootloader and now your device will be booting up in uh, bootloader mode and it says device state is logged and I have serial number of my uh, device so once it is done just go to a system and from there go to adb folder in that just open command prompt in the same folder adb folder once it is open just click uh, type fastboot devices this will uh, display the device which is connected in fastboot mode hit enter and it says uh, fastboot and it shows the serial number of the device so this is to make sure that the device is properly connected in fastboot mode after this is done just to unlock uh, bootloader type OEM sorry fast boot OEM unlock so once you click on this uh, your device will reboot and erase all the internal data internal memory and the complete data of your device so make sure once again I'm telling you to make, uh, take a backup of your device all the applications or the internal data available and place it inside the your PC or desktop once it is done just hit enter and on your device it shows unlock bootloader click on yes using volume button and press power button to confirm now your device reboots and you get a message like this your device has been unlocked so we'll wait for the device to boot up once and once your device boots up just complete the setup wizard So after this just go to settings and uh, again go to about you need to enable developer option once again 
so tap seven times uh, on built number so once developer option is enabled just uh, recheck whether OEM unlocking is still enabled and you can also enable advanced reboot and also make sure guys you need to enable USB debugging if you don't enable USB debugging then you won't be able to flash the recovery <coughs> so after all is done just boot your device again into fast boot mode So now after booting into fast boot mode your device state says uh, uh, unlocked and now you have to flash uh, TWRP recovery. So use the command on, we will connect uh, detectable ones. So now use the command fast boot. Fast boot flash recovery and the name of the recovery which you have just need to type the name so I'll copy from here and paste after this it is a image file so you need to type dot img once this is done hit enter and it says finish now do not turn off your phone or reboot your device just go to recovery mode by using the volume button once it shows recovery mode hit power button and your device should boot into recovery mode now and you'll have TWRP recovery installed And once you get this uh, message, just click on never show this screen during boot. Click swipe to uh, modification. And also make sure guys do not reboot your device here. If you reboot your device before flashing super user, you will always get a uh, DM Verity uh, message while rebooting your device. So make sure in the same thing, just go to your PC copy the super user file and place it inside the internal memory once it is done just flash the same file super user after this is done we will go to install and down i can find super user updated version of super user just click on this and swipe to flash And once this is done just reboot your device and you will get an option uh, to install the TWRP official app of TWRP it is up to you I just swipe uh, to install and now your device will reboot again and you'll have an super user install and root access will be there on your device So now device reboots again and uh, we'll just go down and check yes super user has been installed <clears throat> so now 
so to check whether the device have root access or not we'll go to play store and uh, install an application for root check so it is asking for my account we'll just complete the setup wizard and uh, so once you add your google account then you can install an app called uh, root check I'll just install this file. So now we'll open and see whether the device has been rooted or not. I agree. Okay, verify root. So now it shows uh, it is requesting uh, super user request so we'll grant the request and it says congratulations root access is properly installed on your device so that's all in this video guys thanks for watching